that's the great historical trigger of change. What you're looking at now, yes, frilly knickers. This is the first result of the great 14th century bed linen and underwear boom. Because when they wore it out, they threw it away. So there was this great pile of linen rag. The first thing that happens to the linen in this process is that they take it and rip it against a knife to make the rags even smaller. And what is shredded linen rag absolutely perfect for making? Yes, paper. So the paper makers got an unexpected linen rag bonanza, pounded by hammers, tripped again by the can. You bash the rag in water and gum for 48 hours and the sludge you get is paper pulp. Slosh that onto a wire mesh frame, count five, and you've got yourself a sheet of paper. Well, a sheet of very wet paper. You lay each sheet between layers of woolen cloth to soak up the moisture. All you do now is squeeze the pile in a press until you've got nearly all the water out of the paper when you hang it up to dry and that's all there is to it. Funny how it all comes together here in the paper mill. The water power to run the cams, tripping the hammers to make the pulp. The wine press come linen press to squeeze out the water. And thanks to the automatic loom, the linen that makes the pulp. And because of all that free linen, suddenly the cheapest thing around was paper. <laughs> 